Hi, Christine. How you doing? Okay. Uh, cover looks good. Same as last week. No changes there at all. So but there's no, been no changes on this page either. So take all of my comments from last week and apply them towards this page because um, this is the same presentation as last week. Um, again, the same presentation as last week, except you have some color in here. Um, you haven't given a, a materials list or have really... Um, you say the bag would, would, ha would hang by plas plastic hooks and all tuning would be plastic as well. Um, can you give us a materials list, though? Um, I mean, everything is really nicely labeled. But you say aluminum barrel, where is the ingredients list for the aluminum barrel? Where are the materials? Aluminum siding, organic paints. You, you can't just say, okay, this is organic and say it's, it's sustainable. You have to show your research, show your citations. In other words, if you're saying you're using organic paints, tell us what kind of paints you found. Tell us what kind of paints you're going to use. Give us a quick ingredients materials list, little ingredients of the um, uh, uh, materials that you're using so that it points to or away from sustainability. Do you see what I'm saying? So we can't just say, um, I'm using sustainable project products or I'm using organic paints. Do you see what I'm saying? You have to tell us exactly what you're using. This page is the same as last week. Um, you just added some color. So um, I, I would like to see a, a really solid rendering of a, of a trade show booth. Um, this is really, really primitive. Um, so I, I'd like to see more work on that. Um, your balls, um, you know, you're supposed to mock these up, right? I mean, you're supposed to cut these out of your material and show us how they work. You know, take pictures of yourself putting it together to show us how it works. Um, you say list of materials, eco felt. I, I don't know what that means, eco felt. Eco thread. I'm sorry. I just don't. It's just not telling us anything. Do you see what I'm saying? You have to tell us exactly what it's made from. Um, okay, and then your your flyer, yeah, it's going to end up in a landfill. It's not going to grade well. I mean, I'm not just singling you out. I'm telling everybody who's including a flyer, you're not going to grade well on this in the final because it's going to get thrown away. Um, this, it was a good idea, but what happens when they peel this off and and, and, to, and get their free water bottle? This gets thrown away the rest of it. The, the, the best, the most clever idea I've seen was the one where you turn it in for a parking pass. Don't use that idea. It's already been done. But, um, you know, you have to give this thing some sort of purpose. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. Uh, typography, center at center aligned type. It's not good. Try to left or right align it. Um, give your typography a sense of purpose. Don't forget the grid video talks about typography. Um, I would not use this typeface um, for body copy. It's a decorative uh, ornamental typeface. You would want something a little more conservative for your body copy. Um, okay, so other than that, I, like I said, uh, you, you got to mock that guy up. Give us a materials list and a completed um, trade show booth. Give us, um, you know, this is the same as last week. So give us, you know, I need a materials list here. Otherwise, it's, it's not promotional. Um, I'm sorry, not sustainable. Okay, if you have any questions or if you have any comments or, or any clarification whatsoever, please just let me know and I'll be glad to address that. Okay, thanks, Christine.